Lovely. Thank you. So have your blankets available. Have your blankets available. Uh, one for perhaps underneath you and one to cover you so you're warm. Our practice today is yin yoga for calming anxiety. So we're going to be focused on anxiety relief. And so the, the poses or shapes or asanas that we're going to adopt today, you want to bring as much comfort and support as you can in order to drop down into your parasympathetic system so that our nervous system is calmed during our practice. That's why we want to have, be nice and warm as well. So coming into your seat with your legs crossed, perhaps you're sitting on a cushion or a folded blanket. And I'm going to invite you to place your left hand on your heart and your right hand on your lower abdomen. And soften through your shoulders, closing your eyes or gazing down towards the earth. It may not feel comfortable for you to close your eyes. In that case, gaze down, soften your gaze. And begin to watch the breath, the way that the breath moves inside of you, where you feel it when it arrives in your body and underneath your left hand up the chest, perhaps down at the lower abdomen where your right palm is resting. And just notice how when you breathe in, if you can draw the breath all the way into your abdomen and then notice the very gentle rise of the abdomen so that it rises to meet the palm of your right hand. You might notice that your ribs flare out slightly and then your chest rises to meet the palm of your left hand. So the in breath comes into the lower belly, then the chest around the ribs, lower ribs, and then the upper chest. And when you exhale, draw that navel back towards the spine. So you pull your belly ever so gently away from the palm of your right hand. And then you'll notice that your ribs curl in and then chest falls away from the palm of your left hand. So this is the sensation that you want to feel um, underneath the palms of your hand. On the inhale, a gentle rise of the belly, a slight flaring and opening of the lower ribs, and a rise in the upper chest. And on the exhale, a drawing away of the belly gently from the palm, a gentle curling in of the lower ribs, and a slight falling away from the left palm of the upper chest. Three part yogic breath, inhaling in, belly, ribs, chest rise and open. Exhaling, belly, ribs, chest gently fall away from the palms. Inhaling, belly expands into the palm, ribs flare out, chest rises to meet the left palm. Exhaling, draw the right, the belly away from the right palm, ribs curl, chest falls away. One more round, inhaling, belly rises, ribs open, chest rises. Exhaling, belly draws back, ribs curl in, chest falls. Now you can return to your natural rhythm. Bring the left palm down to the earth and turn your right palm so it's facing up, elbow of the right arm tucked into the ribs there. So your right palm is open for receiving. 
your left palm is connected with the earth for connection. And with your eyes closed or softly gazing down towards the earth, begin to visualize a color, any color of your choosing, a color that you find calming, a color that you enjoy and savor. Allow this color to be a soft color. So choosing a shade that is softer, more calming. And invite this color from the sky into the palm of your right hand. Inhaling in. Allow it to fill your chest and your abdomen and then as you exhale release this color from the left palm into the earth inhaling this column of light in a color of your choosing drawing it into the right palm allowing it to fill your upper body and then releasing it down the left arm into the earth. Allow this color to soothe, to calm, to invite peacefulness. Final round, drawing in this column of light, a soft, paler shade of your color that invites calm into the right palm from the sky, filling the upper body and exhaling down the left arm through the left palm into the earth. And then release your hands from this mudra and bring your hands together at your heart, opening our time by chanting Om softly, gently, quietly. Om. Om. So moving with a sense of ease from one pose into the next. And we're going to start off with legs up the wall or lifted into the air. So you can choose if you're near a wall, come near the wall. Now I invite you to get a bolster or some cushions stacked on top of each other or large pillows or a few folded blankets that you have available. Now, if you're, not, if you're not close to a wall, bring the bolster underneath your knees. And then come to lie on your back. And when you're on the earth, lift your sit bones and roll the bolster directly underneath your lower, your sacrum where your tailbone is. And then bending into your knees, lift them up to the sky. So that's one option if you're not close to a wall. If you're close to a wall, again, you can have your pillow or bolster up against the wall. Come right up against your bolster and pillow. You might need to bring your sit bones up and then spinning yourself, supporting yourself on your forearms. 
lift your legs up and you might require a little bit of shuffling to do this. I'm slipping away from the wall because of my shawl that I insist on. So it might take a couple of goes to get you comfortable. So legs up the wall, or legs directly up in the air, yogi's choice. Arms away from your body, palms face up. So having your bolster, pillows, cushions directly underneath your sacrum so that your tailbone is resting on your support. And as you lie here with your back on the earth and your legs lifted up, closing your eyes perhaps, if you have an eye pillow covering your eyes, covering yourself with a blanket. Perhaps you're wearing socks. And with each out breath, allow your body to soften your crown, your forehead, the eyes, the cheekbones, your ears, the jaw, the mouth and lips, the back of the head, your neck, Shoulders, softening, letting go. Arms, elbows and wrists. Fingers and knuckles. Your head, your upper body softening, letting go. Your legs feeling heavy. Feet relaxed. Through the soles of your feet. Sense this column of light shade that is soft and pale and soothing. To drain down the length of your legs into the sacrum and then into the earth. We'll be here for three minutes. Nowhere to go, nothing to do, no one to please, just be.
the sense of softness. Relaxation in your bones, muscles, fascia, skin. The whole of your body relaxed, softening. Softening your face, forehead, brow, eyes, cheeks, ears, jaw, mouth, tongue, back of your head. whole of your head, softening. The whole of your upper body, softening. Your legs, softening. Three more breaths here. And then if your legs are up in the air, bending at your knees and hugging your knees in. And if you're at the wall, again, you can hug in if you have space. Or gently turn to the side and slide off your pillow and then hug in your knees. And bring your feet to the earth. Take a moment here. And if you have your bolster or large pillows already underneath your sacrum, stay here. If you've come away from the wall, bring your pillows or bolster equivalent to underneath your knees and then lift them and place them underneath your sit bones, your sacrum. I'm going to come into what we call a rainbow bridge. So making sure that you are fully supported on your bolster, pillows or cushions at the heaviest part of your pelvis and hips. You can keep your knees bent, feet flat on the earth. Or you can extend one leg long and see how that feels for your lower back. Doesn't feel comfortable? Keep a bend in your knees, feet flat on the earth. If you feel comfortable with your leg extended, maybe try both legs alternately to make sure you can feel some constriction on the lower back. But if it feels painful, then bring your feet back to the earth. So we're in a rainbow bridge either with our knees bent or our legs extended. We're not going to be here for long, especially if you have your legs extended. Tuck your chin into your throat.
Allow yourself to feel supported by your bolster. If you feel twinges in your lower back, it may be necessary to just shuffle your pillow or bolster either a little bit higher or a little bit lower or bend your knees. So sometimes shuffling your pillow a little bit higher or lower may help you find a spot where you no longer feel that twinge. But if you continue to experience a twinge, bend into your knees. We're here for another six breaths. Letting your body know, letting your nervous system know that we are about to move. Your legs are extended, bend into your knees. Bring the soles of your feet onto the earth and allow your spine to reintegrate here for a moment. When you're ready, Lift up your hips and pelvis and slide your bolster or pillows away from you and you can place them underneath your knees. And we'll be here just for a few moments with the bolster underneath our knees as a transition, a calming transition. The aim of our practice today is to soothe the nervous system, to calm any sense of anxiety, whether it's anxious thoughts or a sense of restlessness in the body or breath. Dropping into our parasympathetic system, the system that allows us to relax, Two more breaths here with your bolsters or pillows underneath you. And we're starting with this sequence here to immediately go into this restful relaxation phase. So that we make the most of this practice to calm Place your feet by bending even more into your knees onto your bolster or your pillow or your rolled up blankets, whatever option you're using. And allow your feet to draw up the warmth from the bolster equivalent. We're immediately going to turn into a reclining twist to the right first. So bend your knees in towards your heart and a little hug here. Really draw in the thighs towards your abdomen and then release. And with care, drop your knees over to the right. If your left shoulder comes up a little, allow it to come up so you don't put a, too much of a twist here. If you wish, you can always place a pillow or cushion underneath the lower leg, the one that's connected to the earth. And again, close your eyes here. Cover yourself with a blanket or a shawl.
And notice how your breath feels, how your body feels. Notice the thoughts or the absence of thoughts. And if you begin to focus in on the thoughts and get distracted by busyness or restlessness of thoughts, visualize them as clouds in a soft blue sky. Allow these thoughts to float away as if they were clouds. And you are lying underneath, gazing up at the sky, watching the clouds floating by. Letting go of the thoughts. Letting go of the restlessness. It is a calm day. There's a warmth in the air. These clouds are soft, white, fluffy clouds. Three more breaths here and reclining twist to the right. And then just tugging in your navel so that your core is engaged. Bring your knees back to center. A little hug, drawing your thighs towards your abdomen. Releasing your legs. We're going to bring the knees over to the left. And again, you can support by placing your pillow or bolster underneath the lower leg or a cushion and if your right shoulder lifts up a little from the earth allow it to do that so the twist is not too intense for you Notice how there's a ringing experience at the abdomen, even with a gentle twist. As if we're squeezing out some dishwater. And with this squeezing out, Allow this dishwater to trickle away from you. Draining away from you. It's letting go again. Bringing out any thoughts, experiences, feelings that are not serving us in this moment. In your mind's eye, visualize them as leaving your body. One more breath here. Just 
take a full breath. And then when you're ready, inhale back to center and hug your knees in. And then release your feet to the earth. Go to move into banana asana, this crescent moon shape on our mat. So if you have your pillow or bolster, just very gently, even with your feet, roll or push them away. And extend your legs long on your mat, lying in the middle of your mat for the moment with your arms away from you, your legs long, your feet falling out. Just realign here, coming back to center. Drawing the body back into its natural alignment. And then walk your feet over to the bottom right hand corner of your mat and shuffle your hips and pelvis over towards the left side. Then turn your head up towards the top right hand corner. Now your arms can stay alongside your body. You can place your left hand on your heart and your right hand on your abdomen, or you can reach overhead and take hold of your left wrist with your right hand. So see how it feels where you want to be. The fact that your feet are in the bottom right hand corner of your mat and your hips are shuffled over to the left side will already give you a curvature. The top of your head is heading towards the top right hand corner. This might be enough. You have the alternative of resting your hands right on abdomen, left on heart. Reaching overhead and taking hold of your left wrist. If you wish, you can cross your left ankle over your right ankle. And here you will notice that we're working on particularly the kidney meridians. And this is the place, this is the organ and the meridian that's responsible for letting go, for discharging, for releasing, for detoxifying. So we work with this meridian to bring relief to anxiety, relief to anxious thoughts or feelings. We'll be here for another minute. And relax your fingers. Whether they're on the earth, on your body or overhead. Relax your toes. Allow these extremities of the body to soften, release and let go. Relax at the crown, the top of your head. Sense that the skin is softening. The skull is softening. One more breath here. And if you have your ankles crossed, uncross your ankles. If your hands are overhead, release your wrists. And then walk your whole body back to the center. So walk your feet back to the middle, your hips and pelvis to the middle and release your arms again, coming back to center here, realigning.
And then when you're ready to transition, let's take the feet to the bottom left hand corner. Shuffle the hips and pelvis over to the right. Take your shoulders and head towards the top left. Coming into a crescent shape here. And again, you can have your arms alongside your body. You can have your left hand on your abdomen this time and your right hand on your heart. And you can reach overhead. Take hold of the right wrist with the left hand. Another option is cross your right ankle over the left. And again, invite in the softening at the extremities of your body, the crown, the fingers, the toes. Focusing on a part of our body or focusing on our breath, visualizing a color that is soothing and calming, visualizing our thoughts as clouds above, or as water that we are draining out. Helps to distract the mind from those thoughts, those feelings that are giving rise to anxiety. We may often sense that we are anxious when our breath becomes shallower or faster, or we experience tension somewhere in the body, the shoulders, the head, the jaw, the hands. We may feel rigid, or we may feel very restless in constant movement. The mind, the breath, the thoughts, the feelings, the hands, the feet. So dropping into the parasympathetic system, soothing the nervous system, helps to lower the cortisol, helps to reduce feelings of anxiety by increasing feelings of relaxation. One more breath here in Crescent Moon, Banana Asana to the left. If your ankles are crossed, uncross your ankles, release your wrists, and come back to center with your head, your hips and pelvis, your legs. Allow your feet to turn out. Allow your arms to be away from your body, fingers gently curled. Coming back to center, recentering, realigning. Now we're going to switch our practice around a little bit because we start off by laying on the earth so that we drop into the parasympathetic. Bend into your knees and roll over onto one side into sleeping baby. Maybe use your arm a pillow or a cushion. The other hand is 
resting gently on the earth. And as you lie here in sleeping baby, visualize this soothing column of light, a shade that is pale, of a color that most resonates with you or you find calming. As you inhale, draw that color in through the palm of one hand that is resting underneath your head. And as you exhale, release that shade or light through the hand that is palm face down on the earth. And continue like this for three rounds. Inhaling through the palm of the hand that is resting underneath the head and releasing through the palm that is resting on the earth. And when you have completed your cycle of this breath, pressing into the palm that's resting on the earth, very gradually and slowly rise up. We're coming into butterfly forward fold here. So bring the soles of your feet together. And if you have a bolster or pillow, you can place it on your legs and create a little bridge or you can angle it. And then rest your eyebrow center on your pillow or bolster coming into your forward fold. Or allow your head to hang heavy here. So your head your eyebrow center can be supported on a bolster or pillow. Different options here, depending on what you have available to you. Your chin is tucked in, your shoulders are relaxed and soft here. Have this sensation that your upper back around the shoulders and shoulder blades is softening, melting. Perhaps it feels heavier unusual this area. Notice the feelings that you're having now, all those sensations in your body. These feelings perhaps of relaxation, of calm, of being soothed. And imagine that you can take this feeling with you and be exactly like this, like you are in this moment at times when you are feeling anxious. How can you replicate this feeling, this sensation when you need it? How would it feel to be resting or breathing like this at times when you need to most? We'll be here for one more minute. So 
Check where in your body you are feeling tension. And then breathe into that area. So that you are releasing that area with the breath. Guiding the breath to create a sensation of softening, of opening, of letting go. Feel as if you are dropping down into your body, dropping down into the earth. The earth is supporting you. The earth is strong. Six more breaths here to signal to your body that you are about to move. And then when you've completed your count, as you inhale, unfurl your spine to come up. Cross your right arm over your left and hug yourself here, tucking in your chin to your throat. Inhale to lift your head, open your arms out, and then let's cross the left elbow over the right elbow, hug yourself in here. And then again, tuck your chin in. Lift your head, release your arms. And now we're going to come into a reclined butterfly. So your option is to have your large pillows, your bolster equivalents, along the length of your mat. You can prop up your pillows and bolsters with either bricks or folded towel or blanket or cushion underneath the top end of your bolster so that you, it is angled so it's not so deep for you so once you've created that for yourself so for example i didn't have bricks I could fold up my blanket, have a cushion, and then place that at the top of my pillow. So I've also got an angle here. And then bring your lower back up against the bolster. Your option for your legs are butterfly. That doesn't feel sustainable now after being in a forward fold butterfly. You can have your feet flat on the earth with knees with a bend. With supporting hands, come to lower your upper back on your pillow. Now, if you need to place a cushion or a folded blanket underneath your head to pillow your neck so that you're not feeling so uh, as if your head's falling back, do that. Your feet are flat on the earth, try knocking your knees in towards each other. If that causes twinge in your lower back, you open your knees up again. So experiment. So this is going to feel very open for us. And to feel more protected here, 
You can bring your right hand onto your abdomen and your left hand onto your heart. And notice how this immediately changes the sensation for you from being open to feeling protected. We're not here for very long. We just want to notice how our body feels in this place of openness compared to this place of protection with our palm resting firmly on our abdomen and our heart. This is a strong connection between the hands and the body. It's going to be here for one minute. Three more breaths. Then with helping hands, bring your knees together. And roll over onto one side. You can either stay on your bolster or pillows for a moment. Sleeping baby here. You can come to sleeping baby on the earth. And again, have one palm facing up and the other hand resting on the earth. Perhaps your fingertips are connected with the earth or the whole of your palm. Through the open palm, breathe in the color that is soothing and calming. Exhaling out through the palm or fingertips that are connected with the earth, face down. And then when you're ready, if you're not already on the earth, come to the earth. And you might want to move your bolsters out of the way. We're coming into Shavasana. Or you might want to use your bolster or pillow underneath your legs. So decide what you wish to choose. And then get really comfortable for your Shavasana. Make sure you have a blanket underneath, perhaps, or a blanket to cover yourself. We're going to be in Shavasana for five minutes. You want to be super comfortable for those five minutes. And if you have an eye pillow, cover your eyes. If you want to turn out the lights. Turn out the lights. When you're practicing this at home, you have the option of having low lighting, maybe a scented candle. If you wish, you can even get into bed for Shavasana. And today I'm choosing to have my right hand on my abdomen and my left hand on my heart so that I feel a connection with my body and I feel the steadiness of my hands.
when we have feelings of anxiety, begin to notice what happens in the moments before. Perhaps this is something you've experienced over time. And there are certain patterns that affect your feelings of anxiety. Recognize the signs that you feel so that you can respond appropriately. Trusting that your body knows how to soothe and calm. And that it will learn to soothe and calm with practice. Always seeking professional support when you need. Knowing that sometimes we all need a little help. Take your awareness to the crown of your head, softening the brow, softening the eyes, the cheeks, the jaw, the mouth, the tongue, the ears, softening back of the head, softening, the neck, the shoulders, shoulder blades, the spine, the ribs, the chest, the sternum, softening, the upper of arms, elbows, lower arms, wrists, backs of hands, palms of hands, fingers and thumbs softening. The abdomen, the hips, the pelvis softening. The legs, the knees, the lower legs, the ankles, the tops of feet, the soles of your feet, the toes softening, the whole of your body, the whole of your body, the whole of your body softening. Every part of you softening. I invite you to stay here in your Shavasana for as long as you feel you benefit from this rest, this deep place of rest, stillness. And before you rise, Remembering to wake up the toes and wake up the fingers and wake up the crown of the head. Curling onto your side for sleeping baby. 
and then rising to close with Om Shanti softly. I will leave you here in this moment for yourself. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti